Yo, what up guys? Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Nmap. Um, I personally, when I first started hacking, it was about a year ago. Yeah, about a year ago. Um, I've had problems because I actually don't know how to use Nmap and I know a lot of people have been struggling with Nmap. Um, the reason is because it's it's easy, but if you've never done it before, it, it might be a bit difficult. Now, um, before we start, uh, remember that to not hack anybody that you're not supposed to, hack yourself or hack your friends. Or Like I've done in the past video, hack basically set up a virtual machine that you can hack. It's your own uh, device, which means you can hack it unless you don't give yourself permission, then I suggest you're doomed. So what you want to do is basically launch your Kali Linux or Linux or Windows, whatever you have in map on. Make sure it's installed on your machine. Um, press Windows key in map or you can go to your terminal you can do this basically nmap i'll launch if you just write nmap or nmap hyphen h it will show you this so basically this is all of information now you might not know how to use it and for this case you have me i'll show you how to use this it's actually very very easy it gives you gives you very very good information. If you've ever used um, any like courses or anything, you'll probably be familiar with this. And before we start, I want to ask a question. Now you might not know this. You might know this. Let's see. As soon as I launch this Nmap reconnaissance, what type of reconnaissance is it? Is it passive or is it active? Now, I'll give you a couple seconds to answer and. Hopefully you go get it right. Right, if you said basically you're this is passive, you're wrong. Unfortunately, uh, fortunately, this is active reconnaissance because what we do, the reason it's active because we're actually sort of handling or sending packets towards a network, and basically by this, well, by running well, technically not really because it matters what you do with this because Emap has certain certain functions and abilities it matters what you do um there's nothing wrong if you were to scan someone's computer right for like open ports but if you scan someone's computer for open ports and then you do something further for example let's say they left port 22 which is ssh or 21 and 23 which is ftp and then for example you say you're gonna hack into it which is basically if if they have default credentials, it's very easy to hack. Um, now, what you want to make sure is make sure that you have to, basically, your attacker machine or your Kali machine, whatever you have, I don't really mind, uh, and your victim machine. This is important because you can't use Nmap on yourself, right? So this is important that you use Nmap on a other machine. And make sure that machine's secure because if you're to hack it, you and have a, as a connection to the internet, it's vulnerable, which means you're vulnerable as well, right? Unless you secure it, right? So basically, and in the next video, I'm gonna do is basically show you how to open ports and open certain functions and stuff like that, right? Because this is important as well. You're gonna be taught if you're ever gonna do cybersecurity IT, you'll be taught, but. You can learn it basically um, in a couple of days because I'm gonna schedule uploads for this video on about probably 17th of July. We'll see. Right. So how do you do actual scanning? Basically, as you can see, there's some certain information. I'm not gonna go through it. There's no point. There's too much information. It's actually not that big. Hashka has a bigger, bigger list. Um. So basically, we're just gonna use um. SV and we're going to use uh, hyphen O. So let's use hyphen O first. So we're going to use Nmap hyphen capital O. Remember that this is case sensitive, right? Case sensitive, whatever. So we're going to use the IP address of that uh, machine, the vector machine, which is for me is just this. And as you can see, there's a problem. Now, if you read this carefully, requires root privileges. What does this mean? Now you might not know this mean basically root is the highest level in Linux. Basically to do anything you need, root, well, anything that could either damage the system, anything that is sort of needs approval, needs to be done by sudo. Now, if you want to actually, now there's two things you can do. Either you can run sudo 
nmap and the IP address. Or what you can do is sudo su. You just put your password in and now you're going to skip any sort of hassle from anybody because you're on the highest privileges level. Highest privilege level. So we just do 1, let's say 130, sorry, 1130. Now, as you can see, I've not been uh, asked to. Now, once, by the way, if you once enter your term, once you in the terminal, you enter a password, you don't, you won't get asked for it again. Now, as you can see, uh, there's some information we got out. So starting end map, this, 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 host is up, not shown, 999, reset port, and we have some ports that are open. Now, as you can see, there's some certain information that we could use. For example, now we have some ports, we have a MAC address, as you can see, it says VMware. And as you can see, it says running Microsoft Windows 7 8.1. This is not sort of true, or it's just maybe the version is called. I'm running Windows 8 Pro. Well, it sort of gives you that information. Maybe it's just running on a 2000 Windows 7 engine. I'm not sure, right? Anyways, doesn't matter. It has given us information. Now, you can ask, what can we do with this information? Well, to learn hacking, you need to know what these sort of these ports do. Basically, remember, if a hacker can get through it, we will get around it, right? So, what we should do now is go on the internet. For example, let's take port 135. And as you can see, it's a, it's a service, right? It's a service. So let's go on the internet. Hopefully I have a connection. I should have. Okay, let's go on Dr. Go. That's good, okay. Oh, oh, never mind. I don't have connection. The reason is because I'm connected to my VM net network, which is good because it keeps me more protected. So basically just whatever. I'm gonna go my other on my host machine. Let's go. Dr. Go. Let me see. Two seconds, guys. So port 135 TCP MSRPC, what does this do? And it's a active directory environment, which can be possibly exploited, right? We remember every information should be noted. So example, I see, I see this, okay. So I use notepad, that's a text editor. And example, that time is uh, 7.19, so let's just write 7.19 p.m. Sorry, that's 24 o'clock. <laughs> uh, we have this, so we can just copy this. There you go, I have to copy it. So basically all you do is just go to select this, press Control Shift C, go to your text pad and press Control V. Right, I'll show you again. Bang, as you can see, I've copy pasted. And now keep this information because you may delete, you may close this off and then you lose information and you might lose the commands you've wrote as well. You might lose the information on the screen. Take screenshots. You can take screenshots by screenshot. You can, there's a lot of stuff, right? Right, as you can see, um, basically what happened is there's no tempos, right? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, never mind. But before I run this, there was basically two, two extra that were closed. So I don't know because I opened two extra ports, but they're not working. That's okay. All right, let's run some other commands. Let's see in map. What else can we do with in map? For example, let's run. And by the way, to run in map, you need to disable your firewall, right? As I said before, I think in the last video, pinging. Um, by the way, if you've not seen my video, make sure to. It should be on the screen somewhere. Um, my last video, how to network two devices together. I will help you. For example, we can scan certain uh, ports. So, example, if you run, um, where's the? No, sorry, I need to. So, example, P, right? So, scan, end map. Let's use I don't know fifteen to twenty five. Let's just put the IP address. There we go. As as you can see, it scan for certain ports between. It. Obviously, they're closed. I mean, these three should be open, but they're not. Well, for whatever reason. Uh, that's okay. Is it 20? I can't remember, to be honest, what FTP. I'm pretty sure it's 21. I think it's 20 and 21 that FTP uses. I cannot remember. Um. So, as you can see, Nmap is very good. Now, 
as I said, this can be used because, example, if, for example, SSH was open, like port 22 was open, all we do is go to our terminal, SSH, and we can see other, like, so example, you can SSH, um, where's that login? Is it just L? Yeah. So L, 192.168.11.30, and we can use user J. So, example, what is it John Doe? I'm not sure if it's space or not. At host 192.167.30, port 22. Yeah, as you can see, it didn't work because the port is closed. I ever wrote the command wrong, doesn't matter. Right. So, as I said, this is all crucial information. So, I suggest you launch your Kai Linux and play around. Remember that if it doesn't work, you need to find, first, I suggest pinging your machine. And if you get a reply, that's good. And then if not, then try to disable your firewall. If not, change you check your networking, um, check your networking settings. Because as I said, remember that your virtual machines need to be on the same network. They cannot be on two different because that's not gonna work. For that, you would need to set up a router because router what does basically it connects a couple net Wi-Fi networks with another router and it creates one big network. Right. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you can subscribe, leave a comment, and I guess that's it. Hope you see you next video. Bye.